What's up? So we have this uh, free movie channel preview weekend on our TV right now. It's got like HBO and Cinemax and all that, what have you. And they're playing Suicide Squad, so I watched it again. And there was a part that I didn't, or that I missed the first time that I didn't catch the first time. His character says something and just kind of made me go, "Well, I gotta look and see how true that is, because that's pretty. That's a pretty fun fact. That's funny." And uh, so I did, and yep, sure is. Time.com: How Suicide Squad recalls one time America did enlist the help of bad guys. So there's this character named Amanda Waller. And she points to a deal the U.S. Navy made with the Mafia during World War II to protect American shipyards. And despite the absurdity of pretty much everything else that happens in the movie, this one historical tidbit is entirely accurate. In 1942, following, following the attack on Pearl Harbor and the suspicious destruction of the Normandy cruise ship in Manhattan, the U.S. Office of Naval Intelligence was concerned about the potential for Italian and German agents to infiltrate the country through its ports. The organization dispatched its own agents to attempt to gather intelligence from the mostly Italian-American fishermen and dock workers in New York City, but workers refused to offer up any information. Navy officials figured that the workers' reticence had little to do with the questions they were asking and more to do with who was doing the asking. Working through the, of course he was, Jewish mobster Meyer Lansky, who was quietly endeavoring to intimidate Nazi uh, sympathizers at home, the Navy began negotiating with Mafia boss Salvatore C. Lucifer Luciano, nicknamed Lucky Luciano, widely considered to be the father of organized crime in the United States. The Navy, the state of New York, and Luciano struck a deal in which the latter, who was serving 30 to 50 years in prison for compulsory prostitution, would have his sentence commuted in exchange for enlisting the support of his organization in providing intelligence to the Navy. See? <laughs> Isn't it amazing that these, I mean, talk about these government corporation world leaders, man, the most corrupt, morally bankrupt, pedophile mother cussers on the planet. I mean, for serious. And it, I mean, doesn't it seriously go to show like there's more than what we're seeing going on here, that there really is like a force that's that's got every, like it's mind control. And I'm still under mind control as well, but it's got everybody. I mean, no shit, right? Because... How could these people get away with doing this stuff? I mean, the biggest liars, the biggest scam art artists, the biggest drum rudders, the biggest terrorist creators, the biggest freaking sexual abuse pedophiles. I mean, for real. But somehow we continue to go to work every day, listen to these guys, follow their laws, and give them our tax dollars and give them our money, our hard-earned money that we get treated like shit at work for, which is peanuts compared to what do these guys make. I mean, isn't it, it doesn't just blow your mind? And here's a movie that was huge, made a shit ton of money. You think many people watched that and, and heard that too and said, I'm going to go check that out and see if that's true. That's pretty freaking crazy. That's a fun fact. You know, it's crazy. So it really, I mean, I, like I said in my last video I made today, I mean, it really goes to show for real, we do indeed struggle with powers and principalities and not flesh and blood. I mean, this stuff is, it's, it's, it's crazy. So thanks to my subscribers.